Hey guys, it's Jules. Uh, so we're going to do some more dachshund this week. And specifically what we're going to work on is I'm going to start putting in some color uh, down here. So um, I thought it would be cool to show this on the video. I just need to finish up um, my... Whoops, where are my glasses? Where are my spectacles? I know I have a shadow on the screen. And honestly, it's a lot of this is due to the fact that... Let me see if I can change this just a smidge is due to the fact that I still cannot quite figure out how to, oh good, this actually works pretty well. Um, I need a new stand, I need to figure out how to shoot these things. I mean, there's just, I only think about it when I go to film and then I'm like, oh man, oh yeah, that's right, I gotta do that. And then I, you know, I finish, I finish this stitch along and then I go downstairs and load it up and then I get distracted, so. But if you guys can tell, I've done quite a lot on this particular piece. And I've gotten a lot of the purple done. I, I, like, I finished this, and then I filled all this in over here. So, I mean, even if I didn't do anything else, I definitely got some good stuff done. So, but I wanted to get begin to get some color in this piece because, I mean, if you guys, you guys know how it is when you're stitching like a... A dreary section of just all the same color all at one time. It's just, it's such a pain. I, uh, let's see, it's Saturday morning. I was going to film this on Thursday, but I just didn't really feel like it. I was, I was stitching like a mad woman for most of the day, but, um, I just didn't feel like shooting a video. I, I, part of it was because I kept jumping from piece to piece to piece. So I think I worked on like five different things. But just, you know, some here, some there. And it it was good enough. Good enough, I shouldn't say that. It was enough that you could see progress. It was just kind of crazy. Just kind of crazy. All right, Jules, what are we doing here? So it's still a little warm. It's not as terribly hot as it was the other night. And it was terribly hot the other night. Here, let's bring it all the way up here. Um... Here we go. Oh, but anyway, so, so I got, you know, I worked on Rainy Waterloo Place. I worked a little bit more on Old World Map 2. I looked, I worked on um, Ronnie Rowe. I worked on Reaper. I worked on, um, well, I worked on this. So, but then I didn't do anything last night. I was so tired. I couldn't, I couldn't focus on a tiny little needle like this. So, I just... Kept on, keeping on. This is gonna be boring. Here, let me this let me put this over here for now. I'm just gonna stash this way here, way out here in no man's land. Way, way out here. Let's get something that has a color. I wanna see something with a color. Um, let me see here. I pulled out my uh, magical one of my magical things, and I, I, I got a lot of color here. I got a lot of the same color floss right here. So that's good. So anyway, so I pulled some apart. We're gonna work on this particular color. I have gridded enough that I can definitely progress. I pretty much, I'm trying to think, is that the entire page? One, two, three. It's not the entire page, it's like four fifths, but it's not bad. It's not bad. So I need to update the blog with some better pictures coming forth. Let's see. Okay, now, so we got to make sure we get the right thing here. Because if I go back and have to redo this, it's going to be a pain. Um, okay, so I got partially, and that's row one. That's row one, and then row two. So, yep, right here. One, two, three. Perfection. Here we go. There. All right. Let's make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. So this is literally going to be part of the dachshund now. It's like a D 
deep navy blue. It'd be like a 939 maybe if I had a color number, which I don't have a color number, which is, I might have it somewhere in the book of the, um, the stuff, but the book of the pattern, but I didn't realize that I didn't have the numbers. So I'm assuming that I got it somewhere. So, cause if I need more floss, because I make a mistake or something, then I wish that Gecko Rouge, Gecko Rouge's products, this is a Gecko Rouge, um, and they have an Etsy store. I, I wish that they just sold their patterns. You know, I think they would probably sell a lot more of their patterns if they sold their patterns separately. Um, they sell stuff in, at least as far as I last saw, is in, in kits. And they're pricey, you know? They're like 75 bucks and stuff, you know, but sometimes more. And, um, you know, you're getting, you're getting fresh DMC from Wee oui, Paris. Um, my apologies to the French. Uh, but um, we... Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure if I have, you know, and I, and I bought fabric and I think I told you guys, I bought fabric before, but I just couldn't handle the fabric that they sent me. It was just, it felt thin. It felt, I mean, less, you know, lower, like a lower quality. So I just couldn't deal with that. Um, I had to just get a regular piece of Ada and restart the project because I just wasn't going to deal with that. I just didn't want to. So, husband is grilling, well, he was going to grill some burgers, but we, we had to go get a, um, um, a new propane tank. Ours went out suddenly, it was like Wednesday night or something. We went out, got a new propane tank, came back, started grilling the burgers, and the propane tank's like a dud. They do not work, which is unfortunate. So, he is actually going to cook them. Well, he might cook them in the oven. I just saw him looking at a video that how to cook hamburgers in the Instapot. And I'm like, hmm. He likes that Instapot. He is Mr. Cook. Mr. Cook. I'm so happy that I'm into the color section on this thing. This is just awesome. Here we go. I'm just going to do this. And this one's going to be a lot more fun to look at once I get more of the colors up because it's probably the most colorful piece I have. And for you guys that probably get tired of looking at some of my more monochromatic or, you know, my um, pieces that have very little color. Um, or a very muted color, you probably would are gonna appreciate this. Ah, get in there. My nose is itching. All right. So, hmm. All right, I'm gonna tell you guys this story. So, though, for those of you who don't know, I have a lot of dogs. I mean, like a lot of dogs. I have seven dogs. My husband and I have seven dogs. Um, and everybody usually gets along fine. We usually don't have an issue. Every once in a while, somebody will step out of line and cause some issues. So last night, Friday night, my husband has been taking, um, evening walks and he'll take him about nine o'clock or whatever. And you know, when it's getting, finally getting cool and it's not very crowded outside. And so, um, he took the two bigger, biggest dogs out, and Zuzu and Bailey. A little off on this one. Um, and so he took them and uh, went for a walk. I'm not sure what I'm doing, guys. All of a sudden, I'm like all over the place. I'm distracted. This is a good story. So anyway, so... While he goes for his walks, a lot of times because he's taking two of the more gregarious dogs with him, I'm like, oh, this is a great time to go take a shower. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll go take a shower. So I went and took a shower and came back downstairs. And after about another 10 minutes or so, he came home with the two dogs and 
they'd had a nice walk and everything seemed fine. And then after, you know, another half an hour or so, it was like after 10 o'clock or something. And uh, so we're like, all right, well, I'm exhausted. It's time to go to bed. It's Friday night. I've been very tired. I had to work this morning. I'm like, I got to get to bed. And so start putting everybody up. Everybody sleeps in the basement. And everybody has like their own little, you know, place that they sleep in. So I'm doing roll call and calling everybody down there. And I realized we're short two dogs. I can't find Jelly, the Greek rescue. And I can't find Topher, the little jerk. Let's just say that. He can be a jerk. Um, not to us necessarily, but to other dogs. So anyway, so we go and... Um, we start looking for them. We're like, well, maybe they're outside. Maybe they got maybe they got taken outside, um, you know, at some point, and then we just close the door, not realizing it. We go outside, they're not there. It's like, huh. So my husband's looking around, and I, I go into the front room where like all the aquariums and stuff are, and then all of a sudden, I see like this flash of like blue light, and then I hear this doo -doo 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 -doo, knock on my door, and I look over and I see that it's a um, it's a police officer. And I'm like, oh, shoot. And I was like, honey, I think we might have found our dogs. And uh, sure enough, apparently they had gotten out. I'll tell you how we think that might have happened in a second. But apparently they got out and ran down the street. And apparently there were three of them initially. It was Jelly, Topher, and then Coco the Dachshund. Um, and it, that's what it appeared to be at first. Is that like a little... Man, this is messy messy there we go um so uh apparently there was a dachshund with them but the dachshund ran back you know ran away they didn't know what happened to her and i was like oh well she's actually fine she's in the house and uh so we go down there and the dogs are in the back of the uh, patrol woman's uh vehicle and she opens the door i carry one dog and my husband carries the other and we thank the neighbor profusely for finding our dogs and um so we go home and we're like how did this happen because i just i just couldn't understand how it happened i mean it's like we haven't had an escape in a while and we had just checked the fence and didn't see anything so we went in and we checked the fence again. I'm going to highlight, guys, while we were talking about this. So I went around and looking, you know, looking through the fence again. And um, we just never saw anything. I mean, there is no hole in the fence whatsoever. Um, you know, I mean, it's... Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. I'm like, where am I? What am I doing? Um, so what we did was we... Um, can't show the pattern. Um, right here. So anyway, so we think what might have happened, because it's the only thing that we can think of possible. I mean, when my husband left, I heard the door close. I definitely heard the door close. But there are times when you close the door and it doesn't necessarily latch. So all it takes is for somebody to come up and kind of bump it and it might pop open. And we suspect that that may be what had happened and then when my husband came back from his walk, usually we'll let like Zuzu run ahead and run in the door. So he may not have seen that the door was open or maybe it closed most of the way so he couldn't tell. And then that would explain how um, those three individual dogs got out and ran away. And then, um, you know, it would, it would definitely make more sense. So we think that's what happened. So we're just keeping a closer watch on the front door now, but you know, I've had three dogs now picked up by local police, and um, thank goodness we're, uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to hear about it because I have a number of police contacts, and um, I help them out with their police dogs and whatnot, but I'm sure I'm going to hear about it at some point. But, I mean, that was the craziest thing, and I'll be honest, it took me a while to go to sleep last night because I was so like anxious because I'm just like, I don't, you know, I was shocked that they had actually been able to put jelly into the, um, into the cruiser because she's, you know, she normally doesn't come to people. So, um, I'm happy that she did, uh, because I mean, I don't want to lose that. That dog to me is very special and we've given her, I think a great home that I don't want her to lose. And so, and, you know, I just worry about it, but whew, everything's okay. 
everything's okay. People are screaming. I wonder if it's the World Cup final. Uh, Croatia versus, uh, not final, but quarterfinals. Uh, Croatia versus Russia. They were in overtime last time I checked. Wouldn't surprise me if that was it. I'm sure that's what I sound like when hockey's on. Alright, we're going to just tie this one off. Look at that. It was very messy back. Very messy back. Alright, well, that's very dark colored, isn't it? Whew! Trust, ow, get my trusty drink here. My, my thumb wouldn't cooperate. Don't ask me why. I stretch my hand. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing, guys? What am I doing? All right, so I can definitely continue on. With, I think I can I continue on with this color. Yeah, I can continue on. I think I can. I think I can. Oh, but you know what? Maybe to, to throw a little color, a little extra color on this. Let me do a little light, very light purpley, lavendery, pinky, something, something, something. Where did I put that needle? There it is. So we're going to go way up here. Nope, that was wrong. <laughs> go there. Let's get that out of the way. That's about to cause a massive crisis. What is this? Get out of the way. Even more screaming. Unless they, uh, unless they're watching, unless they didn't miss the England match, which I was very happy to see them win that one. But I don't think we have any Croats nearby, and pretty sure we don't have any Russians nearby. Those kind of accents, you know, you can't help but pick out. Doobie doobie doo. But yeah, England won, so they're in the semifinals, and nobody would have predicted that England would have made the semis at the start, except for most the most diehard fans. But lots of upsets, and the name of the game is who plays the best when it's important. So I may have to use my magnifiers at some point. There's that. There's that. It's going to be a pretty little pinky, pinky color thing. Oh, my husband's cooking the burgers. This smells so good. We were going to see Ant-Man today, but we haven't seen it yet. I um, had a kind of a hard day at work, and I just I, I knew I wouldn't be able to focus on movies. So came home, relaxed for a little bit, going to get some cheese buggers, cheese buggers, and um, get some of those in and be able to. Yeah, let's go back and do this for a minute, or should we? No, I don't know. I still got to do um, this in purple, and then it kind of comes down like this. So, like, like that still needs to be purple, I think, roughly. So that's not bad. It's just easier to like fill in the the the, the corner part here, so that I can truly see what I need. That I can truly see. So. 
Oh, I'm tired. Um, but I want to stitch. I want to stitch. All right, so I'm just looking real quick at my colors here because I'm trying to find the right color guide. Yes, I think it's on this one. So I need... Uh-oh. I'm like, oh, it'll be on this one because I haven't seen it on the others. Let me pull this one up, the little, the little bitty one. Nope, that one's fine. Um, let's go back to this one. Hmm. Did my brain deceive me? Oh, I see why. Ah, okay. Or is that correct? Is that correct? Yeah, a little yin and yang. See, it's this one. But I didn't uh, realize that it was that one. I did not realize. I'm... She's such a kind of a mess, but not too terrible. Um, just gonna cut a little piece off. Not very much. Try and conserve. Conserve where we can. Okay, so the yin and yang sign. So let's make sure we do this right. Okay, so we're up here. This is going to be fun. This is going to be yellow, yellow, green. One, two. Ah, there we go. Okay, hooray. All right, let's see if we can... Trying to look this one up. Ah. Famous last words. Ah. <laughs> These glasses want to sit down on the tip of my nose so I can look like a scolding teacher. to there. Well, this is going to look really crazy. Is that rain? Or maybe it's somebody's sprinkler system. Possibly. We had a massive rainstorm the other night. It was so awesome. We needed it so bad. here yeah that's gotta be rain that's crazy I love it how it can just pop up sometimes with a storm out of nowhere wow that really is out of nowhere I mean and I'm looking outside and it's like sunshine bright. And yet the rain's coming down. I love it. That's awesome. One, two, one. One, two, one, two. It's going to be so much fun to do the colors. Oh, part two. <coughs> okay, so I'm finally back. I stopped uh, recording for a few minutes there because it was time to eat and I was starving so I said yes please, yes please. 
Da, da, na, oh, that's not the pole to be there, or is it? Maybe it is. I think it is. Oh, it is. Okay. All right, so we had uh, super duper <clears throat> gigantic. Um, ooh, there's a lot to do here. I almost didn't realize that. Bump, bump. Dump. There we go. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> um, all right, Joel, wake up. Now I'm in a food coma. Now I'm like, oh, it's nap time. It's it's thundering really good, and it all sounds really nice. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out. Da, da, da. Is it this? No, it's one more over. Am I on the right spot? Dun dun. Dun dun. Uh, oh, hmm. Oh, ah, oh, guys. Oh, I made big mistake. Oh, man. All right. So this may or may not be a mistake. But all this that I did is in the wrong position. That's pretty sad. Pretty sad. Now, <sighs> big heavy sigh. Okay, so tell me what I'm going to do. I'm gonna work on this purple, and then we're gonna frog this, and then just kind of start over. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Nothing, nothing to worry about. You know, it's just opportunity to do more stitching. It's all good. But darn, it's very saddening. Oh well. Anyway, so the husband made um, these like double sized hamburger cheeseburger things and he made the cheese him well he didn't make the cheese he smoked the cheese last weekend <clears throat> he smoked the cheese last weekend and then um and now we're still using it on our burgers today so that was pretty good now what he did was he sort of took like it was like it was like a ball basically and um, he put some cheese in the middle and that was so good and uh, it was like a spicy cheese like a monster cheese kind of thing so he did that, and then um, let's see what he do. So he put it he put it in the skillet, kind of you know to kind of sear the outside portions of it, and then he put it in the instant pot. And it was probably like about maybe about eleven or twelve minutes total of cooking it. Oh my back! My back says, "Ha, huh, you're funny. You're stitching. That's crazy." Um, but anyway, so uh, oops, hold on. Food coma. Food coma. I can't even aim straight anymore. There we go. Um, but yeah, so he made those and his famous corn on the cob and some spicy brats. And it was very tasty. It was all very, very tasty. And I ate way too much. And I might sleep for four hours. I probably shouldn't. Force myself to stay awake and just go to bed a little early tonight. We're gonna, I, I feel like we're going to have a lot of fireworks shoot off tonight. And uh, I won't be surprised. It kind of has rained at night for most of the night since the 4th. So we just haven't had a whole lot of it. And I'm going to think that if if the weather cooperates and we get some, uh, we get some dry times tonight, I think it's going to be ridiculous in how many fireworks are going to get shot off. It's going to be worse than the 4th. So we'll see. I need my, I, I really need my magnifiers, I think. But I'm not going to get them now. So I think we'll go see Ant-Man in the morning. I think that would be good. Kind of just get it done. Be good to go. I still need to film that other video that I was talking about, the um, one about the blended threads, um, just because it's a different kind of video. So I was hoping to actually be able to do that tomorrow morning. So we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Let's 
see how far over we can get with this. You guys are like, yay, purple. It's funny, if you watch like the beginning of this and the end of this, it's going to look like I didn't do anything. Because so much of what I stitch has to be moot. Hmm. I'm here looking at this, trying to decide. I think the whole thing has to be cut out, pretty much. Pretty much. Wow, I'm really moving this around a lot. Come on. I'm going to tie it off here. Just to be safe. I finished an audiobook for the first time in forever. Like a real, real length audiobook. I, I did The Alchemist some months back and it was pretty good. But, um, it was definitely, uh, No, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Let's cut this. Let's just... It's a good thing it's so messy. I think maybe that was why it was so messy. It was like... Like, the, the stitching universe was like, well, you're just going to have to come back and do this again in just a short period of time. So you might as well just, you know, not put pretty stitches in. Pretty stitches don't look right. I don't have a pair of scissors. Did you see me use my fingernail pot or fingernail clippers? I uh, don't have a I don't have a pair of scissors that I can use. Oh well. I left them downstairs and I don't feel like getting up and getting them. So tonight, hmm, I had like five songs go through my head at that. Um, tonight is the night. Um, I'm feeling all right. Uh, <laughs> I'm a goofball. But, uh, what was I going to say? I'm tired, guys. I think I feel a nap coming on. But, anyway, um, so if I can continue to stitch tonight, I want to get back into Old World Map 2 and maybe some Stormtrooper. I'm really jumping around on all my um, stitching, like I told you before. It's just, there's like so many. I'm trying to think of what I haven't stitched on. Pretty sure I haven't stitched on um, Boba Fett, Stormtrooper, um, the dog's drill piece, and, well, once I do the video for the um, Greenwich Village piece, Greenwich Village, uh, I think I can at that point, um, go ahead and, come here, come here, sorry, I'm just, I really do need my super close ones, super close glasses here, that's okay, um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens when I go downstairs, I've been working more on my computerized jigsaw puzzles, so that has been an issue. Alright, right up here. But I just finished an audiobook uh, about Gene Krantz, who was the mission controller guy at NASA during like the, the big Apollo missions and stuff. Um, ah, come here. In uh, Apollo 13, he was portrayed by um, Ed Harris, I believe. But, um, oh, stretch the back. Um, so he, uh, ooh, come here, come here. All right, we'll just bust that. I'm gonna bust it. But it's a pretty fascinating story. And I'm glad I got through it, but it was like 18 hours of audiobook. And that was a lot. So, yeah, it's pretty good, though. I mean, it was, I actually quite enjoyed it because it was, uh, come on, Jules. Okay, what's going on here? I'm just not doing this very well today. Hmm, hmm, I'm just thinking. It would be great if I actually needed to incorporate all of this, like this was real.
Just thinking, guys. Just thinking. Just trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I kind of just want to lay down some color to help me. You know, I that might be fine. I'm going to have to pull out page... It's probably page two. Um, pull out page two and see if... Because this, this actually starts over here by about... I don't know, so many. Oh, wait, or does it? Yeah, by about three. So I could literally move that over and potentially not have to change anything here. So we're just going to gonna let that be for now. But I wanted to put in, I'm looking at the color chart here. But, all right, what's that, what's that number? What's that number? I mean, it's not a number. I keep thinking it's a number, and it's not a number. Is that it? That looks pretty close. 52. Come here, 52. Help me out here. But yeah, there's probably going to be a fair bit of cross-stitching done tonight because I'm nice and relaxed now and I'm feeling pretty good. I want to finish another row of overall map 2 because that would be cool. Because I absolutely need to go like a, um, a row and a half a week or so. I think it used to be the challenge used to be, you know, a page a month. But I think it needs to be a row and a half a week. And when I think about it like that, I think it's easier than to stick to the program of going one row at a time. Because it really, it does seem like it's really helped. And we'll see. We'll see if we get to the end of the page, but. Okay. All right, so we are, whoops, hello color. Hello, color. So this theoretically is about, uh, um, here. Come here. There. All right. I'm gonna start here and hope that we are making sense here. I'm making some sense. Let's turn this off. It's cooled off a little bit. I like that very much. Come on. So that's good. We don't want to be so uncomfortable later. But I think we figured it out. I think we're we're doing pretty good in terms of keeping it cool, cooler, at least that it has been in the past some years. little mostly green color here In fact, I think the back hurts enough that I think I'm going to stop here because um, this is kind of an awkward position that I'm looking at. I think it'll be better for me if I just be able to go sit down in my cushy chair and work on this a little bit. Maybe. I may just come up later and work on it because it is, I mean, I've made enough progress right now. I'll be like, whoa, look at that. Um, but I do need to get to work on other things. So you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Enjoy. Hopefully the weather is good wherever you are, and happy stitching, and um, I'll see you on the blog and in the upcoming weekly update. Bye!